mole has a lot of definitions you can just to get a feel of it you can say that mole is nothing but the weight of maybe total the total weight the weight of the total thing see the number of moles would be the total weight divided by the atomic weight or molecular weight depending on whether it is an atom or a molecule it would be total weight divided by molecular weight so if you say that you have suppose um 36 gram oxygen okay so how many moles of oxygen do you have simple question so the number of moles would be 36 divided by molecular weight of oxygen because it's o2 so it's 16 plus 16 32 which would be how much um 9 by 8 these many moles so you can understand because since the molecular weight the the mole is the conversion unit between this a total weight and molecular weight the molecular level and the total level so if one mole of oxygen contains 32 gram of oxygen then how many moles of oxygen will contain 36 gram of oxygen that was the question so there is no formula as such you can do all the things by the unitary method it's just that you need to know that oxygen this this oxygen molecule had a molecular weight of 32 so one mole oxygen will be equal to 32 gram oxygen so if you want the number of moles of 36 gram oxygen then you will just have to divide it by 32 which is 9 by 8 simple unitary method so this was a simple question they give you more complex questions which are close to this the one which i am giving you now this one is also not very difficult find the weight of oxygen in 1 g water okay so they have asked you to find the weight of not o2 as such just oxygen the element oxygen in 1 g water now you see water has a mass number of 18 amu so you can say that one mole water will have 18 g water and how is this 18 g separated into hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen has 2 g due to 1 into 2 and oxygen contributes 16 g so you can say that 2 g is the weight of hydrogen and 16 g is the weight of oxygen right so because oxygen has a mass number of 16 so it will contribute 16 g to the 18 g since it contributes 16 amu to the 18 amu and hydrogen will contribute 2 g to this 18 g but we are not given 18 g what we are given is 1 gram. so again applying applying this simple unitary method you can say that 18 g of water contains 16 g of oxygen so 1 g of water will contain how many g of oxygen 16 by 18 
which is nothing but 8 by 9 gram. So if you are asked to find the weight of any element in the in suppose x gram of a molecule containing that element, you can always check the mass number, check the con uh, contribution of that element to that mass number and then divide it. So if they would have given 3 gram, you could have just said it's 16 by 18 into 3. These many grams of oxygen in 3 gram of water. So it's nothing but the unitary method. And rather than applying uh, learning formulas or uh, applying new new formulas, go by the basic method, which is the unitary method, which never fails. Formulas if applied wrong may fail, but this method has hardly any chance to fail. So another question, you can say that maybe find weight of oxygen in one gram or not let's not keep it one gram make it suppose five gram five gram CoCO3 now for these type of questions uh, find the weight of oxygen or for any type of questions in mole concept or stoichiometry you need to know the mass numbers of common elements like the mass number of calcium is 40 carbon is 12 and oxygen is 60 and here it gets multiplied by 3 so the atomic uh, so the molecular weight of CaCO3 would be 40 plus 12 plus 48 which would come out to be 100 gram and for such type of compounds like H2O CaCO3 and stuff you need I mean it's better if you know the molecular weight of these compounds common compounds beforehand because then you would not have to calculate these uh, things that will save you time so 100 grams easy to remember CaCO3 and what does this mean it means you have one mole of CaCO3 in 100 grams or we don't need mole right now so let's just not complicate things so how much is the contribution of oxygen? It's 3 atoms into 16. So it's 16 into 3 gram, which is 48 gram. So you have 48 gram oxygen in 100 gram CaCO3. So, in 5 gram CaCO3, how many gram of oxygen would you have? You would just have unitary method 48 by 100 into 5. So, this many grams of oxygen. So, this is the weight of oxygen in calcium carbonate. 5 gram calcium carbonate. Now this is just about one compound. If they give you a mixture of two compounds, then things would be a bit more complicated. 